Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to paste a rando injector. I mean, it's pretty easy. If you watch my last video, you'll have everything you need. So watch that video first. So you just want to go to this this link right here. I'll have it in the description. Phone or download, download zip. Okay, so you now have the zip. So you open this zip file with WinRAR. Hopefully you have that. I mean, come on. Then you're going to want to put it somewhere. Then you're going to want to go to source, open the source. Give it a second. If this happens, click OK. Then you want to go to source files, main.cpp. See this right here? See define junks? I mean, you could read it. It's as simple as reading these, the screen text right here. In defined junks, in defined junks to random bytes, change size this block by adding new bytes. That's weird English. Okay. All you gotta do, see these? Literally just change the numbers a little bit. Okay? Don't make it more than two numbers after the X. Okay, it's very simple. Okay, and to make it even more like unlikely to be detected, copy the copy these and paste them and just keep doing this. Just keep changing numbers. Okay? Very easy. I'm slow, okay? But I mean, this is very simple to do. Doesn't take any time at all. Okay, anyways, now that you've done that, another thing you can do to make it even more safe, which I've never been banned using this anyways, but I mean, you can just add junk cpp files with the same method that I used in uh, the nskins paste video. So just copy from that website, paste, you can do this as many times as you want. Make sure after you're done, I would do this several times if you really want to make sure. After you do this several times, go to project. And then make sure you go to this and then optimization and make sure it's optimization is disabled. And before you're able to use this, you're going to want to go back to main.cpp and you see this right here. My DLL name.dll. You need to change this to what you want your DLL to be named. So like if you're going to use nskins, you can just do this. But I just do this oswat.dll because I rename all my cheats to oswat.dll and then there's no problem you just rename the dll instead of having to change the name in the source code here every time you want to inject a different cheat so just change the name of your dlls instead of this okay makes sense all you do build build solution literally you're done okay go to release there you go it's right there now when you want to use your cheat or whatever, you're going to want to go to wherever your DLL is, your cheat, copy it, go to where your injector was in the release folder, paste it, and then like I just said, you need to change the name to whatever you want your DLL, your inject DLL to be named or whatever the fuck, okay? This is very simple stuff. It shouldn't even take me this long to make this video. I'm just really slow at making fucking videos. So it's going to be way longer than it should be. Okay. Then you go back to your folder. Double click the DLL. I mean the EXE. And then look, you've injected. Wow. Very nice. Okay. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching.